Right. So, you know, let's move on to, I think, probably my favorite proposition that we get to talk about with Prop 16, affirmative action. And I want to talk a little bit about this because obviously this was controvert. This is a controversial um, proposition that's on the ballot. We know that there are some studies that have come out and maybe you can just tell us a little bit more about Prop 16 and what it aims to do. So Prop 16 is the uh, proposition that concerns affirmative action. Affirmative action is a process by which you take into account historically marginalized groups and ensure that they have a seat at the table uh, in state employment, public higher education access, that is admissions to institutions of higher education that are publicly owned in California, and uh, bids for businesses uh, that do work and provide professional services to governments, uh, the RFP process. So in 1996, considering race, gender uh, were, was banned by the voters in a confusingly worded proposition. And the Proposition 16 was put on the ballot by the Legislative Black Caucus just after George Floyd's assassination in order to give the people of California a chance to do something serious about racial justice. Um, I'm a partisan on the issue, uh, but I will tell you that it is odd that a state that considers itself as progressive as California does not have legal affirmative action. Businesses do more for Black people in California than government does because of the restriction uh, associated with not allowing government sponsored affirmative action. So a, a yes vote means California has affirmative action again. They can say black women, black men, people who serve black folks, hire black folks can work on these contracts in these ways on these sites. Uh, black people can have it considered, their race considered at institutions of higher education at the CSU and the University of California system, particularly as we are underrepresented relative to our population. At UC Berkeley, where I think the black population has consistently been under 3%, it may be under 2% this year, uh, in a county that has uh, 10 to 15% African Americans, uh, in the city of Berkeley, which has a, 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 a nine to twelve percent African Americans, and then in Oakland, which is twenty five percent African American, which is just down the street, that doesn't make any sense to have such an unrepresentative. It just doesn't add up. Same with Latinos, Asian Americans uh, uh, who are East Asian have done well in higher ed admissions at the University of California. Uh, they do not do well, no Asian groups do well with state and local employment, nor with business opportunities. So uh, the, the people who are rising up the most about it are members of the Asian community and very conservative voters in California. But most everybody else realizes, I mean, even white kids from California are being turned away from their institutions that their parents help build with their tax dollars. So at this point, affirmative action would help everybody in California. 